Okay guys, so on June 2nd, or July 2nd, a few days ago we received some mail from Little Beans and she gave us some gifts. We were so excited to see these and we're definitely going to be using them. <clears throat> she gave us some seeds for some crimson se uh, sweet watermelon, um, German chamomile, really see it. Um, um, some zinnias. They're really pretty. Um, California poppies. And those are some neat flowers. And then some seeds from her garden. We got some red romaine, romanian lettuce. Um, papalos, I think. Type of flower. Um, some Nestardium flower seeds. Um, I believe that's stock flowers. And some carnations. So those are awesome. Carnations is one of U2's, UT's favorite flowers. So that's really cool. And we're, we will definitely be planting these seeds in our next year's garden. Very excited. And then we also got some garlic from her that we will also be planting. Those are some really big, awesome garlics. So as you can see, we were very excited to get all these things. Um, and then something that's really sweet, she made us a little flower pot. Very cute and talented and we enjoy it a lot. Blue is my favorite color so I really like it. It was very sweet of you and we appreciate the gift. It made us all really happy and smiles all day. That was really awesome. Thank you so much for your wonderful gift and all the seeds. We appreciate you guys and thank you so much for all your support. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. All right, my angel sent our thank you off to Little Beans Garden. In this video, I would like to also include a thank you to CB. With CB, he does a lot of hay, uh, haystack gardening, hay bale gardening. With us, it's not quite as relevant, so I think a lot of times inspiration and motivation that we derive from CB might get uh, not shown as much, being that we garden a little bit different, but we love watching the yard, we love uh, learning new things, finding ideas, and planning to give it a shot. Here is the pineapple plant. I have actually just been watering the inside right here and it keeps a little drop of water at the very bottom. It's really hard to see right now. We're about to probably get some uh, much needed rain. But I thought I would take the chance to kind of shout out CB as well. We appreciate you guys, you and Renee. Let me see if I can find her real quick. There's Athena. She thinks she's a garden tiger as well. What's that? Athena tells uh, Tabitha hi. Here's the avocado branch. It's got neglected. If you don't change the water out enough, the roots won't reach out because there's not enough oxygen in the water. So the roots can't reach. So the issue with this one is, is it was neglected but it is still alive. It still has these little nodes on it that are really, really wanting to root. What we are gonna do with it is put it in one of these pots here, bottom water it. Probably take this cloche thing here, this uh, two liter bottle top. It'll go over the branch, and so I'll show that real quick when it's done. 
Hold them up for everybody. Pretty creepy. Why is it creepy? Such a creepy it's crawly. Creepy. Is it what? So, little pot. Here's the avocado branch. It's down but not out. We neglected it for a while and so those little nodes didn't get the water changed. If you don't change the water enough and it starts to evaporate, it loses its oxygen. And without those oxygen bubbles in there, even though they're small and you can't see them, it doesn't allow the roots to reach out from the plant. So you'll end up getting these little tiny nodes if you don't change the water out every few days. Make sure that there's some uh, oxygen in there a little bit. Alright, so that's the basis. It's not done yet. Put it right over here. For now, where it's kind of a little bit shady, things ain't getting too much. The pineapple looked like it was dying back even in the day or two that we've had it, but it looks like it's doing alright right now. Pineapple, avocado. Um, once again, we want to thank CB and Little Beans Garden, CB and Renee, and Tabitha and Little Beans Garden, her and her family. We appreciate you guys. We get a lot of motivation from the community, and we are having a fantastic time. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.